Hi everyone, in today's chess video, I'm going to share with you a secret chess opening tricks which can help you to win more games. This amazing trick is called the fishing fall trap and you can use it when you are playing as a black. And, uh, and I will show you all the different variations, moves and ideas in this trap. So please stay tuned till the end of this short introduction. chess friends i'm jonah peter if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn some cool chess tricks and become a better chess player then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any of the videos today in this video it revolves around the roy lopez opening so let's get straight into it the roy lopez is very popular opening and start with e4 and e5 the knight f3 knight c6 and then bishop b5. White main idea here is to capture the knight and then take the e5 pawn. After this, we continue with the knight f6 to attack the e4 pawn. This is called the Berlin defense or Berlin variation and it was played by Stockfish and Alpha Zero in 2017 December 4 in London, England. Alpha Zero won in this game. Now, a very common move you will see from white will be to castle or safety in the king's side. Many of you might be wondering, why would white castle? He should instead save his pawn on e4. But the point is that even we capture, white can play rook to e1 to attack the knight and once the knight goes back, white can easily go ahead and regain the pawn to equalize the position. That's the logic behind the castling or king safety. So let's go back. Now, after white castles, you will not capture an e4. Instead, you will play a knight to g4. Typical reaction from white will be to kick off your remove your knight in the position this knight by playing pawn to h3. But we are not going anywhere. We are going to play h5. This is how are we setting up our trap. This is the magic begins. If white tries to greedy and capture the knight, then the white is be big trouble. Let's see how. So white capture and then we take the pawn. By doing this, we are not only threatening this knight, but we have also opened up this beautiful line for a rook to attack the king. Now, if this knight runs away or move either to e1 or h2, then we can finish up this game in just four amazing moves. We start with queen h4, threatening the checkmate by playing queen to h2 or h1. White left with no option. The white will try to free up the f2 square so that he can run away or escape from the checkmate. So white has only two options here, moving the pawn to f3 or moving the pawn to f4. But his surprise have the amazing move, pawn to g3, guarding the f2 square which cuts away all his options to escape. And now, the only way to delay the checkmate is to sacrifice the queen to h5, but after the rook captures the queen, white is left with no options, and on the next move, queen to h1 is a checkmate. Now, let me go back and show you another cool variation. From here, quite often you might see white playing to rook to e1. The motive or intention is to support this un undefended e4 pawn, but if you have amazing trap here as well. First, let's bring out our bishop to c5, giving a pressure to f2 phone and doubling attack with your knight and bishop. Now, a very common response from white will be to black this diagonal with his pawn moving the pawn to d4. But after the following continu continuation, white will be in serious trouble. So knight will capture pawn, knight capture knight, now you can take this knight with your bishop because then queen can take this knight and you are down a piece. So the magic here is to play the amazing move queen to h4. As you can see, the queen and knight are attacking both the pawn, the square and f2 and h2. Not to forget, this knight is also being attacked by both pawn and bishop. 
So in this situation, a very com common reply you will see from Black will be a knight to f3. Moving back the knight in his previous position, the idea behind this move is first to saving the knight and defending the h2 square. From here, we continue with the queen to f2, check in giving check to the king. Then the only option here is move the king to h1, and that's the only move white can play. And now, we play this stunning move again. Queen to g1, giving a check to the king in h1 and sacrificing the queen. It doesn't matter if white takes the queen with the rook or the knight because we have this absolute amazing move again. Knight to f2 is a beautiful smarter checkmate. Let me know in the comment if you have been successfully in playing the fishing fall trap. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. This is John. Thank you for watching. Bye.